Yes, guys, brief backstory on this one. A couple months ago, I was in a UTR sesh. Typically, I play fours and fives, but this go around, I decided to tackle the sixes and sevens of the world. Even had it titled Playing with the Big Boys Now. Pretty juicy storyline, if you ask me. When rubber hit the road, though, whoo, it was not pretty. I got waxed, torched, thumped, wrecked, you name it. They put me in my place. Upper right hand corner right now, though, for a pretty compelling match. The most interesting one of that series. I locked horns with a middle school teacher, of all people. Uh, I think you'll enjoy it, so definitely check it out. But I was unable to finish the series due to the birth of my son. Pulled away from tennis for a couple months. You can't hold me on that one. Finally, I got out with the last outstanding match, and the camera lighting was terrible. So, long story endless. Finally, we're here now, playing in a more casual setting. Um, so, yeah, just check out the highlights, see the differences as I try to take down this UTR7 and better late than never, as they say. Thanks for tuning in. All right, so here we go. Indoor bubble, looking for some trouble, baby. Playing a bona fide 4 5. Unbelievable underdog, but this was, you know, nothing riding on it. Just slapping it around, playing a couple sets casually for fun. No ATP points on the line, no ITF rankings to protect. No USTA or UTR ratings to sacrifice. Oh, tell me how you like that angle. It really enunciated that ace. I believe it was an ace. May have tickled his frame, but oh, and a little dicey, a little saucy from the from the kid with the underarm there. Yeah, a slightly different angle. I was mentioned wasn't particularly easy to get it set up right behind the baseline per you so figured we'd mix it up and you have to let me know what you think do you enjoy this this view as opposed to the regular one? Oh my goodness speaking of saucy he takes the prego and dumps it all over me dude that was a, a nice volley and again this is just some uh, highlights in no particular order just so you all see some of the differences between a run-of-the-mill 4-0 and the California Condor. And again, a bona fide 4-5. Pretty seasoned, been at that level for a couple years now. In uh, the Young Buck, as is his name in the Trash Bin Tennis First. Nice little frozen rope there, if you saw it. One-handed backhand on the line, gotta love it. We do square off you know, every couple weeks, and this guy just has my numbers. Uh, 0 and 17 head to head record, I am ashamed to say, and I don't want to talk about it or go into too much detail. <laughs> it's a bit of a Monfils versus Djokovic affair now, isn't it? And I'm afraid in this instance, I'm the, uh, I'm the Frenchman, and not nearly as athletic either. Uh, you know, he spanked me silly when we first uh, met. There was an absolute chasm between the two of us. I couldn't scarcely get a game off of him. Bagels were a frequent occurrence. And then I kind of upped my level and closed the gap a tad, if I do say so myself, to where they were a little bit more respectable and not utter domination. But then he uh, retaliated by upping the level of his own game and thereby expanded the, the gap back into a chasm once again. So this is kind of where we're at now. Oh, the Leighton Hewitt lob, dude. Gotta love it. So much easier said than done. What a beaut. But this is back to where we're at. I you lose, excuse me, on the reg by a 1606 2-6 on a good day margin to this kid. And uh, perhaps you can see why now that we're a couple minutes into these highlights. Just too consistent. Not gonna blow you away with his serve or uh, firepower, but he's just smart, and when he gets to the net, has good touch, and just keeps a clean game throughout. No, you know, you know what I mean? No double faults, doesn't give you just about anything for free, and outlasts you, so kind of sneaky good, if you get what I mean. There he is again with the touch. Smash hanging in there by a thread. He who hesitates is lost, as the old adage goes. So the, oh my goodness, a delicacy, as they call it. 
and I meant to slide into that. That went much different in my head, but instead it was an awkward uh, halt, jarring to the ankle as well. Oh, again, he's got me dancing. He's a master puppeteer, and I'm just the uh, hanging by the strings. And I run in, and I look like a doof as he passes me down the line on that go around. But as I mentioned, smack me 0636 during the, the league play. Footage was awful due to incredibly poor lighting. It was not salvageable. So again, we're just playing a couple casual sets here and you can see, ah, oh, yep, you can see the difference between us as I turn that overhead uh, smash into an absolute folly. And I'm in with a little bit of iron and then some silk to follow it up. And in the end, it turns uh, into a gift from the young buck, a rare miss. And I make amends from my, ooh, miss smash two points prior. That felt good. So let me know what you all think. Uh, again, appreciate you guys tuning in on the journey. This is a wrap for 2022. A lot of videos that came out this last year that is now coming to a swift conclusion. I got slightly different things ahead for 2023. Maybe a couple racket reviews, string reviews, the shoe review. I guess the theme will be more review oriented at least for the first couple months until USDA and UTR pick up. But until then, enjoy the new year. And remember that trash from tennis is all about the tennis trash. Who's then?